Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. It's lovely to have you here and I hope you're gonna enjoy your time. So today I have a fun makeup challenge which I never heard about before until yesterday and it's the one dip makeup challenge where basically you're only allowed to dip your brush in your products once and then once it lifts off from the product, that's it, you can dip back in. So I thought, ooh, that's exciting and I love a good challenge, so we're gonna do that today. Originally, um, the challenge comes from a girl called Lauren95. I think the biggest channel who's done it is Soph Does Nails. So I've I watched her video and then I've watched a couple other videos and it all seems so much fun that I wanted to do my version. So I got everything ready next to me and um, I decided to do a colourful rainbow eye because, I don't know, I like to make it difficult for myself and, you know, I have a nice neon jumper on so what could be better than a nice colourful makeup look with this? But, yeah, that's what I decided. So without further ado, let's hop into this challenge and see how I do. It's not a tutorial, but I zoom you in a teensy bit so it's a bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. And as always, I'm still gonna start with my eyes just because that's how I prefer, just in case there's any fallout. So for my eyes, I got this primer, which is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, and this is the original one. And this comes with a doe fit applicator, so I thought with this I can just do the one dip and I'm gonna swirl it around, although it has quite a small mouth bit so there's not a lot coming out on this but we're just gonna hope for the best oh i think i used up most of it on my first eye uh oh okay also i'm not gonna cut out any parts from this video but i might speed through some of it just so you're not sitting here with me for like 40 minutes or however long this takes okay Generally, I prefer eye primers that have a bit of colour to them, but this is the only one that comes with an applicator unless it's a concealer, but most of my concealers are hydrating. The usual one that I use is the Vetch and Well, but that barely has any product in it, so I don't want to ruin my chances by getting even less product than I would normally do. Now, we're gonna go in the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. And if you've been on my channel, you've probably seen this before. I do love this, clearly. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush first. No, I'm not gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this one, which is the e.l.f. eye crease brush. And I'm gonna swirl it around in the yellow. And hope to God I can pick up enough colour. Um, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's loaded with loads of product. And... I'm gonna dispose some colour in both sides first and this will be just a lovely shade in the inner corner. If you can hear the rain, I'm sorry, the weather today is so crazy. It's on and on raining for, to be fair, the past two days now in the UK. It's going a bit all over the place. Alright, well... I feel like it's a bit stronger on that side and I have a really strong instinct to dip back in there to build up the shade but we are not allowed to do that so we'll see later if it's really obvious then maybe I can just blend out that side a bit more. Next I'm gonna use the Cosette D220 brush and I'm gonna dip it in that orange shade in the palette and again give it a good swirl around. Try to pick up as much product as I can and if you look at my brush, I mean, that's coated. And again, oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use another sparkly orangey colour later in the middle. So that's fine if it's not that strong on my lid. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just grab the brush that I used with the yellow. Obviously there's no additional product on it, I'm not cheating. I just want to use this a little bit as well to blend the two colours together. Go back in with that brush and just sort of tap it on top of it. 
but yeah because I'm loading up my brushes so much there's a little bit of fallout here but that's okay that's why I'm starting with my eyes and this color actually matches my jumper quite nicely so I just keep switching between the two brushes and hope that that helps me blending because obviously I can't dip back in and you cannot imagine I'm so tempted <laughs> Anyway, for the last color for the outer corner, I'm going to dip into this super bright pink. And I'm just trying to find a brush. So I'm going to use the Sigma E25 blending brush and load up that pink. Oh, such a beautiful pink. I don't know why I don't use it more often. Probably because it's so super bright. Okay, I mean, look at that brush. <laughs> So loaded. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Pet a bit on this side. Wow, okay. Pet a bit on that side. I might have loaded this up way too much. A bit more there. Help. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take the Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42 and just blend it and I try not to blend away the orange so I will keep going back to the brush I use with the orange and pat it on top even though there's literally no product left on it whatsoever but what can you do that was way too much from the pink but it blends amazingly it brought it out a bit too much on that side so I'm just going to take a cotton pad with some makeup remover on it and just take off a little bit. That's a lot, right? Okay, I need to bring this out a bit more so the shape matches a bit more. And then one last thing I want to do is use my Jeffree Star Mini Breaker Palette. And I'm gonna dip it in the shade Orange Crush. And I think for that, I'm just gonna use my finger, like super load it. Oh God. And just pat it in the middle of my eye on both sides. Oh, that just made it so much more vibrant. I love that. No, I just wish the inner corner would be a bit more vibrant, but... Okay. I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that we use for the orange. And really uh, lightly blend, because I don't want to blend away all the pigment. I have to say, the shimmer doesn't really come through, but there's definitely a lot more vibrancy there now. Which is great. So let's move on to complexion and then we can come back to the eyes later. So for my complexion I have a few primers with the pump but I decided to go with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. And I'm just gonna do one pump which is not too much but I think from a primer it is will be more than enough. And I mainly need it on my nose and in the middle of my cheeks. And I like to put a little bit on my forehead and the tiniest bit on my chin. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And I have the shade 1.05 Fair Warm Olive. And I have a few other ones with a pump, but those are getting super empty and the rest is a squeezy tube. So I thought this will be the best option. So again, one pump and that's not a lot. <laughs> And usually I like mix in a liquid highlighter, but I thought that might be a bit of cheating because then it will obviously make the volume more. So I'm just gonna blend it out with the Real Techniques Insta Pop Cheek Brush. And what I might do actually is just already put it on my face just so that I don't have to press it into the brush too much from my hand but it can go straight on my face and hope this will be enough usually I use a little bit more than this but well not today and I don't really like 
full coverage foundations but I usually like to usually like to I just cannot talk build it up in areas like my chin where I have a few breakouts and I don't know why I'm breaking out at the moment but I am so I usually I like to build it up there and on my nose obviously that's not gonna happen today oh dear lord apart from not having any coverage in the areas where I like to it's not too bad so for the concealer, I decided to go with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I was deciding and debating with myself whether I should use this one or my Tarte Shape Tape but I think the Tarte Shape Tape is even lighter than this so I thought with this one I can add a bit more coverage maybe in areas where I need it because this is not much different from the colour of the foundation and this gives you a lot of product as well on the brush so I'm going to put a little bit there a little bit on my nose, a shed load on my chin area. And there's literally no more coming, so now that I look great, <laughs> we can move on and blend it in. I'm going to use the same brush to blend this into my skin. I might swap to a smaller one around the eyes. Okay, it helps a little bit, but yes, there's so much texture here at the moment, and I don't know why. I'm not really breaking out anywhere else, so I'm not too sure what, what's happening, but we just have to work with what we got. I'm gonna swap to another Real Techniques, Real Techniques? <laughs> Real Techniques brush, and this is the number 200, that's all it says on it, and you're gonna blend 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 it doesn't do too much brightening because it's so close to the foundation shade but at the moment I just want coverage it's fine if it doesn't brighten and then for a final blending I'm just gonna use my fingers to press it in there I feel like this side is not as sharp as the other one no it's not fully the same Next step, before I'm setting my face, I'm gonna use my Becca Glow Silk Highlighter Drops and I mean, look how used that is. I do love this. And I'm gonna add a little drop to the back of my hand. It's quite dark, so I need to be careful of how much I'm using. But it was literally just a small drop. Sorry, I forgot to show you that, but it comes with a little dropper, so... You know, it, there's quite a lot coming, so I don't need that much. And usually I like to apply it with a beauty blender that obviously I did not wet because I'm great. So I'm gonna just use this sponge. This is from Tarte, and this is actually quite nice and soft without blending. And this will probably help me. Oh, there's a lot more on that side. Dang it. Well, now that side is a lot more glowy than that side. Maybe if I pet over it with my foundation brush. It helped a little bit, not a lot. Oh well. <laughs> it's not too bad. Hopefully. So next I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. And with this one. Oh, if I can open it. Oh come on. Ah, I was trying to open it from the wrong side, that's why it was not opening. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit in the back of the cap. There's quite a lot in there, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use it all, because I'm going to take a brush, obviously, throw it around in there. And, yeah, I applied way too much, but there's loads on my brush. Maybe tap off a little bit. Um, there's still quite a lot in there, so I'm going to... Boop it around. Oh, it's so strong and peachy. <coughs> oh dear. A little bit under my eye. And now I'll just swirl it around. And praying that there will be enough everywhere. Anyway, next step is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And this is the shade Brownie Brows. And again, swirl it around, hoping there's enough product coming out. And there's quite a lot on the brush, I'm not sure it's going to focus for you. It's quite a lot on it, so uh, how do I do this? A little bit there in the middle. 
a little bit there on the middle in the front oh there's a lot more there than the other side <sighs> it's going so well to be fair it's not as bad as i thought it's gonna be but again we haven't done complexion products yet so that's where this all might go horribly wrong and my eyes are not finished so mm. let's see oh. and i will just Wait a little bit for this to dry, we'll move on to something else and it will come back so I can fill it in or it needs a little bit more because obviously this time around I have to be strategic of what I'm doing when so I can make this look as good as possible. So let's go back to the Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to take an angled brush I think it's just going to be like a no-name angled brush and I'm going to dip it in the shade Purple Punch which is this dark purple and I will attempt to do a little bit of a liner nothing huge of a flick because again I don't want to ruin it fully and uh, I will have to tap it off because I don't want fallout I should have done this before um, Okay, let me press it on the outer corners first. Yeah, this is definitely something I should have dipped back to many times or load my brush up a lot more because now you can't even see it. Oh no. Well, that failed. Okay, well, what can you do? Next I'm gonna take the Morphe M408 brush and I'm gonna dip it in the pink shade that we use in the outer corner from the Huda palette and we're gonna use that for my lower lash line. Try not to use too much because we all know now this is super pigmented and I think now there's barely anything left on my brush. Okay. Uh, a bit there, a bit there, trying to deposit the same amount of product everywhere, you know, like you would teach your kids, sharing is caring, and we do that with these eyes. I'm quite tempted to throw on some eyeliner, and I know that with that I can't really do the whole one dip thing, but I feel like that would benefit my eyes so much, but we'll see at the end. I'm just going to take the... Blank canvas cosmetic brush that we used before for blending. Just to give it a bit more blending. Oh, and my beautiful blending face. Okie doke. Now that's done. Obviously we didn't get much of a liner, but we'll just have to deal with it. And I'm going to move on to complexion. So to contour the tiniest bit, I'm going to use my NYX contour and highlight palette which is absolutely loved and used to bits and I'm gonna dip in, whoops, <laughs> the light contour shade try not to break it more and I'm gonna use this other Real Techniques brush that's the number 004 that's this really cute perfect tiny contour brush so I'm gonna load that up and I'm not sure how this will go there's quite a lot of product in there so again a little bit there a little bit there and blend oh dear I feel like there's a lot more on that side than there is on that side uh oh whatever is left I'm just gonna I usually like to put a little bit on my nose and down here but it's so much darker on that side. Let me take my powder brush. Obviously, there's nothing left on it. But I hope that whatever residue is left helps me to blend this out because it's a fluffier brush. And yeah, I think that's fairly okay. It's fairly the same now. Thank God. Now that's done, we can go in for a blush, which I'm not sure I got. So I wanted to do something fairly peachy, both on my um, cheeks and on my lips, because I think that would be look that would be look that would look really cute with the eyes. So I'm gonna use the what is this? Oh my god, Krylon. That's the one. Krylon 
blusher that's a matte shade and it's called Romantic. And this is quite pigmented, so I'm not gonna need it a lot. But I think usually I would use the same brush as my powder one. But I'm thinking if I mess up anything, I can't use that to blend. So I'm gonna go for another brush. I'm gonna use the Becca Angled Highlighter Brush. I love this for literally anything on the face. So we're gonna dip in. And there's a lot of product on that brush. Okay, I need to tap it off. That's ridiculous. And boop, boop. Okay. Oh no. Okay, a little bit on my nose. And see, this is what I was saying. I need another brush now that has no product left on it. Or maybe gonna be with this one. I can just take a little bit off my palm because there's more pigment left in there. And just blend away. And I still want to go in with my powder brush. Okay, that's better. I feel like it's a bit patchy, but I don't know if it's because my face face was maybe not set properly. <laughs> I think it looks fine on camera though, but in real life it it's not mm, yeah. Moving on, another backup product and this is the Champagne Pop Highlighter. This is just no limited edition packaging, but it's exactly the same colour. And I'm gonna use the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F28 brush, which is a highlighting brush, and generously swirling it around in there. So now I have loads of highlighter. And deposit a bit there, a bit there, 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 oh, there. <laughs> oh, I wonder how I can I dip back in for my eyes? Probably not. So, before I'm blending it in, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna take this one, which is the Sigma E47, and just take some product off from there. And apply some in the inner corner. Oh yeah, that gold goes beautifully with the yellow. But in that corner, which now I'm not sure is as vibrant. Okay. Dipping more. Get some on my eyebrow. Oh yeah. And dipping more. Get some on that eyebrow. Oh yeah. This works. I mean... <laughs> It's an unconventional method, but it works. Now I can blend it there. Whoa, that was too much. And it might be a bit too dark for me. I thought it's going to be fine with the blush, but I think it's a touch, still a touch too dark. I should have gone with Moonstone. Oh well, you live and learn. Um, it's not too bad. It's super glowy now. So now that we're glowing, should we go in with the brows? I think so. And I'm gonna use my Naked Basics eyeshadow palette and the shade Faint. And yes, it's super empty. If you wanna see how it started at the beginning of this year, I'm using this as one of my Pendo's palettes this year. So I can link that for you. And I'm gonna use the Morphe M565 brush and just really dip it in there tap it off a bit though because i don't want brown fallout all over and try to make sure that both brows get some of this especially because this one needs a bit of elongation because this one is generally and naturally a bit longer and I need a bit of help with the shape. I think, again, it's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to just stop there right now. And we're going to move on to mascara, which is my favourite. The Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I hope this will be enough. There's quite a lot of product on it. But I have to take off a little bit. Otherwise, that blob will end up all over my eye. And we can't afford that mistake at the moment. Usually I start with my lower lash line. Just because if I don't, I get product on my eyelid a lot easier. So I'm still going to do that. And try not to waste all the product there. Usually I dip back in my mascara quite a few times. Because I like to apply several coats. 
So we'll see how that goes without dipping back. Why are my lashes sticking together? Okay, I think we're good. Just one part where they stick together a bit, which is not ideal. Okay. I think we fixed it. Oh. Well, almost. <laughs> almost. Okay, let me put this away and try to separate my eyelashes with, I don't really know with what, with a brush, a spatula. Uh, brush it is. Okay, 25,000 hours later, I think I managed to get a little bit of a liner on that eye, but no, a little bit of mascara, but I don't think it's too obvious. Maybe I can just do this to the brush and press a little bit there as well so it will look similar yeah that works well okay and i did not dip back so we good and then we're gonna move on to lips and originally i wanted something quite light and peachy because the rest of it is quite a lot but i don't have any like liquid lipsticks that like liquid lipstick that's like a light peachy color so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the boutique high coverage moisturizing lip velvet in the shade rusted orange to me that's quite a pumpkiny color and maybe just blend it out and then on top of it i'm gonna use the Too faced sweet peach lip gloss to tone it down i mean i could have just used the lip gloss but where is the fun in that so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and actually there's quite a lot coming out tonight and I already took a little bit off because I don't know habits. So let's see. I would love a lip liner right now. Okay, it's a bit dark, so before that dries fully, I'm gonna take a piece of toilet paper because I'm like having it on my makeup table so I can quickly wipe brushes. Glamorous, I know. And I'm gonna take don't, I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna bite on this. There we go. So it took off most of the product. And I'm gonna then use the lip gloss. Oh, hey, pigeon. That was really close. And okay, that got a good amount of product on it. And I'm gonna move a bit further back because I'm gonna use a setting spray. This one I don't think I've used on camera for a while now. Is the black blacker Becca glow shield so I'm gonna just do one spritz which usually I do at least two if not you know four or five six seven or eight <laughs> so uh, yeah that only got the middle of my face I thought if I shake my head it's gonna go everywhere but that did not happen <laughs> and that's the finished look is it perfect? Oh god no. But it's been it's been worse before, so you know. What can I say? I don't know. What do you Oh my god, there's something I think there's like setting powder on my throat. But I don't want to drink because I can dip back in with my lip products. So <laughs> I'm gonna drink after I finish this video. <laughs> that's dedication, I'm telling you. That's dedication. But yeah. I mean, my glow is super nice. My blusher is a little bit uneven, but my eyeshadow is not as bad as I thought it's gonna be. I could use a pink eyeliner in my waterline, but I don't really know how I could do that without dipping. I could do just like a put it down and align motion, I guess. Is that allowed? Yeah, let me do that. So I'm gonna use the Berry M Cool Pencil in the shade 23 and what I'm gonna do, so it sort of counts as one dip, is that I'm gonna put it down and just swipe. And if it's patchy, then it's patchy, because I really feel like I need some color there. Whether it's gonna work in one swipe, I'm not sure. Let's see, should I start from the inner or the outer corner? Let's start from the inner corner. I mean, it's better than it was. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely go back two or three more times to give it a bit more colour, but not allowed. Yeah, it's definitely better than it was. I would love to go back, but no. So that's 
that is truly now the finished look guys let me know what you think and if you've done this challenge let me know in the comments below as well i would love to watch more although i'm pretty sure i watched almost most of them at this point because i just find it really fun and i was wondering what i can do and i decided to go really colorful because I love colours, if you've been on my channel before you will know that and I thought it would have been a cop out if I would have gone for something really natural so here we are with a rainbow eye but I'm gonna stop blabbering because I think this video will be already quite long again let me know in the description box below what you think and any links that I have that are challenges I will link in the cards and in the description box along with the original video so we can check out who created this quite fun challenge but for now I'm gonna go if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please 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 consider subscribing it would mean so 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 much to me and also I'm getting really close to 250 subscribers and my boyfriend said I can film a video with him where I do his makeup if I reach 250 and we are so close so please help a girl out so I can film a really fun video for you guys but again I'm gonna go now I will be back with another video on Monday. I usually film videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I have the, well, semi-regular Saturday updates as well. So that's three or four videos a week. But for now I'm going to go and I will shut up. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. Bye bye.